Guys. <laughs> there is crosses on fire here. Oh my god. Okay, guys, we are back on this world. If you're new to the channel, hit, hit that like button, guys, first and foremost. Even if you're not new, hit that like button, guys. It is scary. It is scary. Why is my world not loading? That villager legit looks like he's floating over there. I think he's just inside. The villagers are outside, and it's in the middle of the night, guys. Look at him. Okay, so guys, you guys have been telling me that the villagers are beyond possessed, guys. Oh, I got so much to fill you guys in on what's been going on in this world. First off, yes, I'm in survival now. You guys said, OMG, maybe Boogeyman will actually come after you and try to attack you if you're in survival. I, I know, I don't want to do it either, but if we're going to get down to the bottom of this mystery, we're going to have to, guys. First and foremost, I will agree with you guys. The villagers are... There, there, there's something going on, but you guys got to understand these villagers if boogeyman has really been around here for a while These villagers are like just maybe possessed as Why are you guys why are you guys all coming in here? This is This is where guys. Okay, so if you're new to the channel subscribe right now enable the post notifications by ringing the bell uh I mean, I don't know how to fill you guys in. Okay, on the previous episode, we, we seen something up in the hills. It was terrifying. Then, in the next episode, we found Boogeyman's home. If you have not seen that video, guys, go watch it. We actually spotted him twice already. I don't know if we're going to run into him again in today's episode. Where did you come from? Where are you guys? Why are you guys in here? Wait, how many of you are they? They're running around sporadic. Anyways, guys, this is our house. That we're kind of borrowing in the village and well of course we're just borrowing this house and the villagers are just acting weird and crazy i got full diamond armor i got diamond tools i got me some bread to keep me like I, i'm so on edge guys there's so much that okay so we to in this episode you guys were like omg you need to go explore boogeyman's home you need to do it like it, it, it's just like if you're gonna get further in this investigation you need to do it and i was like all right all right, fine, fine. We're, I don't know what is in there. I don't know if Boogeyman's in there, guys. This is a new night. A day has passed. And uh, we really need to go out here and investigate the villagers. Is there any villagers outside? Okay, guys. I don't see any villagers outside. We did invest investigate the well here, too. All the villagers seem to be locked up in their house now. Let's kill him real quick. Okay. Oh, man. I'm gonna have to deal with these skeletons. Alright, guys. Um, The villagers have been acting pretty weird, but nothing too unnormal. Uh, So, what we're gonna do, guys... We're gonna get ready. I need some torches, though. And I realize I don't have no torches, guys. So, honestly, we could go through this cave, which was apparently, like... What we okay guys okay uh, so back history we thought this cave was actually boogeyman's home right we thought the cave was actually boogeyman's home uh turns out there was a block that someone placed there it wasn't me uh, like it was no it was there when we went in there before the cave was even lit up right so we later came to find out that the block that was randomly placed was of course no other than an enderman that's what it was it was just an enderman an enderman somehow like placed a block down here so let's just in case guys go down here and get like some torch it or some coal oh well torches there's everywhere i could just grab like one or two from down here i don't even see no pockets of coal okay guys i guess we're running on this journey on two i, I need more torches i'm just gonna grab all of them on the way out because i forgot i was in creative and i'm just gonna i could just slash give torches couldn't i yeah all right well whatever we'll, we'll do that if we need torches uh there's creepers okay i'm going in with the creeper Ow, that kind of hurt me still. All right, guys. So we're going through here, and we are going to arrive at the Boogeyman's house, guys. The Boogeyman's home once more. Okay. I'm not even going to lie with you guys. Oh, my God. These creepers are hitting me left or right, dog. Okay. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. If we actually see him in there i don't i don't know what to do i mean i got diamond armor and a sword is is that gonna be enough to kill him <laughs> guys i don't know like how strong is the boogeyman like how strong is he that's the question that we're trying to ask is he even evil guys because if you think about it he hasn't deliberately like attacked us or anything so like 
Is he is he evil? Is he something that we should worry about? I I, I don't know. All right, guys. So here is what we found. And now there was a, we still don't know the redstone mystery, guys. Guys, you're gonna have to leave your comments below what you think about this, what your theories are as well on this, and what we can do. But there's his house, and there's a cow. Okay. Um. What if he's just sitting in there waiting? What? Like we turn the corner and he's like right there, guys. What? I don't want to look in there. Okay, so the redstone. What if he comes out? I don't know what to do. I'm going to sit right here. So I can look to see if anything comes out of this home. Okay, what is the redstone symbolized? Why was there a path of redstone that legit went over there and down and it lit up in one area? Do you guys remember? Like, the redstone lit up in one area. So what does the redstone mean? Does it have some significant meaning? I just realized, what if he's not at home but out right now? I just saw that zombie spawn. I mean, when we first spotted him, guys, I thought for sure it was a black sheep. And a lot of you guys disagreed. But what even if in the last episode it wasn't? But that wouldn't explain why this is here. Guys, I'm just in a lot of thought. Like, I, I, I mean, uh, someone could have built this. Like, a friend of mine could have built this. But, like... Oh, no. There's a door. What? There's a door. What? Guys? I don't... Okay, this is where we first saw him. We first saw him right there, and his eyes was right there. Now there's a door in there. Guys, I... Really, uh... Don't know about this. What is that particle? What is that? It's coming from the door. I don't want to do this, guys. I don't think I'm going to do it. It's daytime. Thank the device, guys. Should we do it? Should we go open that door? I know, I know, guys. I know the main purpose of this video you guys said was to just go investigate his home. Should we really invade his home like this? Why is the path made of redstone? There's Steve heads everywhere. There's Steve heads on the pole and everywhere. It's dark. It's just like a void in here, guys. What if this takes us to some other dimension? Look how dark. It's like a black hole. What is that? Guys, the soul. There's like per. It's like an Enderman. It's like a. It's like when an Enderman teleports or something. It's like the. the what? Is behind this door. Okay, guys. On three. Uh, countdown from three. Three. Two. One. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. I thought it. I didn't know what that was. <laughs> it's a freaking nether portal. But. That's another question. Where does it go? I know you guys are going to want me to go in there. I know you are. He was like standing right there. So does that mean the boogeyman actually stays in the nether? Oh no, guys. It, it makes me wonder what is actually... I, I, I'm just going to shut up, guys. Let's just go. Before he maybe... Maybe he's not home. What if he comes back? Okay, I'm gone. Building terrain. Oh no. Gassed. Gassed. Oh. Gassed, guys. What? What is that? Oh, there's there's crosses. There's gas shooting at us and there's crosses on fire. Guys. There is crosses on fire here. What does that mean? What does that mean? Oh my god, there's another one. There's three crosses on fire. Ooh. Ooh. Guys. I have no clue what this means. 
I thought this was gonna lead us to like maybe a house or something in the nether. We just found three burning crosses. What does that mean? I am I got goosebumps right now. Like Does this mean he's in here? What has he been doing in the nether and why is there crosses? What does this signify, guys? What does this simplify? Oh no. Oh no, guys. I don't know about this. I I I don't I don't Oh no, there's another door. There's another door, guys. You gotta be kidding me. There's another door. We just found three burning crosses, and in the middle of these three burning crosses is another door. There's like some weird geometric, like, like, there's some weird mathematical thing going on here or something. Why is there three crosses? In the middle of these crosses is another door, which I can only imagine is another portal, which is going to take us somewhere. Is this how? Guys, okay, you know when we see the boogeyman, like he's there one second and gone the next? Is this how he's teleporting? Is this like how he's using his teleportation power? Maybe it isn't as abnormal as we thought. Maybe that cave that we slightly explored had a nether portal somewhere in it, and that's how the boogeyman's getting around? That's just my theory, guys. I don't know. Like, you're gonna have to post your own theories in the comment section below so we can get down to the bottom of this. There's another door here. Should I end this video now before this gets any... Yeah, you could tell it's a nether portal. Should I do it, guys? Oh, we're gonna do it. Whatever, guys. I'm giving you guys content today. Like the video, guys. Share it with friends, family, everywhere. We're cracking down on the Boogeyman mystery. This is an awesome series we got going on right now. And we are, we are doing this. Let's go. Three crosses. Where are we? <gasps> oh, oh, what? what is that? There's a baby zombie. I can't kid it. There's a spawner. G guys, we just spawned. Let me eat up on bread. We just spawned right next to a spawner. Okay, guys. This is why I think this is creepy. Now, hear me out. This is a naturally generated spawner. How could, like, this be planned to any degree? There's disc 13 in the spawner. No. No, guys. No. This is not good. This is not good, guys. We have to take disc 13, guys. Now the... No, 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 no. Okay, guys. <clears throat> the question remains. Should we play disc 13 on this world and see if it has anything in relation to Boogeyman and see if it has any ties, guys? Okay, for those that don't know, disc 13 is very creepy. It's like, a, it's like the ringing sounds and bells of hell. Like, it's terrifying, guys. Could this be another trace to Boogeyman? Could we play Disc 13 on this world and see if it has any relation to perhaps summoning Boogeyman? Because guys, I just realized. I say I think we haven't spotted Boogeyman, but you know how he's all black? I can't really see what's in front of me down those places. I went out of here so bad. He could be anywhere in this cave. It's so dark. Okay, guys, we're going back. I don't even want to go back to the nether either. I don't want I don't want to do this. I want to go back. I want to go back home. Oh my god, why does guys, do you hear the gas? Why did the gas sound like that? Go 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 Where am I? Where am I? I can't get out! Guys, I didn't really pay notion to it, but both of the times when we were in the... When we, oh, I can't even talk. Both of the times when we were in the nether, the gas went nuts. Like, you guys heard that. Okay, 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 go, okay. 
I know, I know you guys heard that too. You've had to, you had to have hear, heard that. Okay. The dilemma for the next video, if we continue this investigation and hunt. Also, guys, if you spotted Boogeyman in this video, that's, that, that's, that's really creepy. And the reason why this is creepy, because, guys, I didn't actually see Boogeyman, not of my knowledge this time. I didn't catch anything. So, if you guys spotted Boogeyman, let me know in the comment section below. Should we return? Should we play Disc 13 and maybe even play in the Boogeyman's home? Or better yet, guys, should we go back to that cave where that spawner was and fully explore it to see if there's any more traces and clues leading to the Boogeyman mystery? The more we dig, the deeper it goes, guys. I I don't know where Boogeyman... Because apparently... Oh, there's so many questions. Guys, I don't know. It all started with a sighting. If you guys haven't seen the first Boogeyman video, you need to go back on my channel and watch it. Uh, This is getting really weird and... I, I don't know where we're going to go from here. Guys, we're going to have to conclude today's video here. If you want to see me continue investigating on the Boogeyman world, this mystery in a whole, it's just a, okay, guys, if all else is aside, that was a weird coincidence that we went through the other nether portal and it was right beside a spawner. Like, e like how would one even go about doing that naturally? How do you plan where you're going to put a nether spawner near a, a mob spawner? I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, we have disc 11. Or, or not disc 11, but we recovered disc 13. We just need a jukebox now. And it could get 10 times more creepier. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day. Enjoy your life. Do what you love.